But of course, the primate brain comes with certain peculiar things that are unique to primates. And that starts out from their visual system, the way their retina, so the light sensitive sheet in the back of our eyes uh, is uh, composed. Uh, it's continues with the huge early visual system that we're having at the cortical level, the huge expansion that we saw over the course of evolution in primates when it comes to the so-called association cortices. So these are, for example, the parietal cortex that I mentioned before is a association cortex, but very particular to primates, of course, prefrontal cortex, you don't find that in rodents uh, anywhere close to what you're seeing in primates. And it serves an important function and certain cognitive capabilities that when we try to see them in, in non-primate uh, species, they're very difficult to find. And sometimes when they are there, let's say in birds, which have often surprisingly uh, you know, high cognitive skills, uh, then they are building on a completely different neural architecture of the brain. So the bird brain is very, very different from the primate brain. And some of these uh, cognitive skills that they're showing uh, apparently are came into existence in a very different way.